good YouTube, Command the Gun here, back with another sneak review. This time it's on a pair of uh, SBs. But, which ones, my friend? Which ones? This box is beat up. Um, hint, they came out in, uh, came out this year. And they're a collab that was unexpected but hyped. If you guys guessed right, you guys know what these are already. This is the uh, White Lance Mountains, and um, as you can see, you know the you know the shoe paper and all that. This is legit. I did not get these. It was actually a friend of mine that got them. Not even a friend, actually. Not even a friend. He's just uh, someone I talk to, and we do trades every once in a while. But um, you can see this is the receipt he got. This is from uh, New Jersey Skate Shop. Skate Shop. Six seven fourteen. Jordan. They charge one seventy five. Honestly, I I don't know why. I don't know if they didn't see this huge, this small ass, one fifty symbol. But you know, it is what it is. But um, these are shoes, guys. You guys know what these are. Honestly, I don't even have to do the review. Most of you already know what these are. But uh, let's start off with the, uh, this is the right shoe, right? Yeah, the right shoe. Um, I'll put this right here. All right, so first off, we have this um, white, on, white on white Air Jordan 1 with color accents. As you can see, it does, it is black in certain areas. With the red sole, this is supposed to be the bread colorway, I believe. But um, let me explain how this works a little bit. Most of you already know this, but for people that don't. So what happens is, um, as you guys can see, like right back here, this area right here looks a little bit more red than here. Well, that's probably due to the fact that it is red. This is white paint painted over um, red leather. That's kind of how it is. Same with the swoosh, um, same with the heel tab, you know, all, all of that. It, it is red paint and the, the toe box. And then under here, it is black paint. That's why you guys can see on the little uh, leather pieces, it's black right here. That's also why on these parts you see red. Pretty simple, right? Well, pretty much um, with the whole the concept behind this shoe was... Um, it was uh, people who skateboarded back then, Lance Mountain, and more specifically, he um, what they would do back then is that they would take mismatched pairs of Air Jordan ones because Air Jordan ones at the time, you know, they were basketball shoes just like they are now. But I mean, they were they looked like a skateboarding shoe. So people, what they did was they took them, and they take they took mismatched pairs. It could have been this one, the bread colorway. Honestly, it could have been a whole bunch of different colorways. But what they did was they would paint over them with a certain color. You know, people wouldn't really notice it. Over time, through wear, the color would go, the white, the paint that they put on would go away, and they would reveal the um, the mismatched pairs. Well, that's pretty much the concept behind this. It's taking the same concept um, and showing it. Honestly, um, this this shoe is just insane, in my opinion. It's one of the better concepts I have seen. Um, actually, wait, hold on. You guys can see these did come with extra laces. These are red, red rope laces. Uh, sorry for not being too concentrated here. Um, I had this picture on Instagram about someone who uh, took the, the shoe and uh, they made some re a really nice design. Yeah, I have no idea what this picture is on. I'll find it later. Yeah. Fine. Sorry, sorry for that, other guys. Um, but uh, here's a blue colorway. Actually, hold up. I really want to find this picture now. I'll see. Hold up. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. So this this is what people did. Um. Yeah. Let's bring the brightness up. You guys can see that's what people did. Um. 
they would take the shoes and they would, uh, well, this is now, actually. Um, they take the shoes, they, uh, they take the paint off through a certain method. You can see they make some really nice designs with the, uh, with the shoes. By the way, that is my, uh, Instagram right there. Be sure to check it out. But, um, this is, this is a really nice topic and, um, because a lot of a lot of skateboard fans were actually hating on people who did that. I personally didn't really care. I just, I was just looking to get these shoes, but um, the shoes when they did come out, I did struck out. I striked out on everywhere. I mean, Nike Town's got such a limited amount of these shoes that it's insane. Like, not a, like maybe if mostly got like 30, 40 pairs, it's just insane. Skateboarding shops got most of them. And on uh, Nike.com, I think I went after the black pair. And um, I, w I wasn't able to get the black pair, and I kind of gave up. I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to get the white pair. My friend did, though. So, shout out to him. You know who you are. And uh, he got he got the white pair on Nike.com. So, I was, like, bummed out. And then uh, when the, what the KDs released, uh, a friend of mine that I traded all the time with, he had these shoes, and he was like, I got an extra pair. And I'm like, will you take your trades? And he was like, yeah, sure. So, um... He, I, I offered him a whole bunch of different shoes, and nah, 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 and um, finally he, we sat with the, uh, with the KDs, cause you know he's a huge fan of the KD6, so he was like, that was like a no-brainer for him, and he just took the trade. We did the trade, you know, normal stuff, and um, I got what I wanted. He got what he wanted. I think he added some cash. I don't remember exactly how much he added, but um, he added some cash, and I was really grateful for that, cause like this was a shoe I'm. I was really after um I am looking for the black pair but no rape price. People are asking for 350 and above. Pfft, I can't do 350. I'll do 300, not 350. If anyone knows who has a pair for 250 or 300 shipped, let me know. My size eight and a half, no nine. Even an eight could work, but not a not a nine. Um, I definitely need another. I I I need another pair of these or the black pair, but. Shoes are just insane, guys. That's my little story with these. I hope people who did want this release actually got them. Because this release was just insane here. Hold up. I forgot to show you the tongue on these. Actually, the insoles. I don't know how you guys are going to be able to tell that. You guys see in there? Nah, you got. Okay, you guys can kind of. You guys can't see in there. The camera won't focus. But um the the same designs that were on the shoe paper um were inside the insoles. I mean that's pretty much what the shoe is guys. The original ones are pretty plain. Most I think this video was pretty long just because of my little rant that I went on there. But uh the shoe is amazing guys. I definitely recommend people getting the shoe now because over time these shoes will go up in value and people who wanted them want them now like they won't be able to get them later i can guarantee you that especially considering the shoe is just it was extremely limited and people are already you know starting to make designs all over the shoe you know many pairs like this one aren't going to stay like that um one thing i do want to point out though is that the leather on these is really nice it's like a it's like a really soft leather Honestly, if you guys see these in person, you guys will be able to tell. Like, this leather is very similar to that of, uh, you know, the Band 1's leather. This is a really nice leather, guys. Like, insane. Like, for 150 this is definitely worth more than half of the crap that Jordan Band puts out. Guarantee you it. But, um, this is the shoe, guys. Uh, you guys have seen this probably, like, thousands of times by now. So, you know. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys think of my videos, long or shorter. You guys let me know. I am trying to make them shorter, but <sighs> Commandy Gun here can't actually do what he's sold to, ironically. But um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Mostly Instagram, though, because I do respond to Instagram more easily. Um, again, follow me there. I have a lot of great stuff. Um, I haven't taken down my original Instagram pictures because I kind of want people to see how bad they were then and how I'm gonna try to improve over time also for anyone that was asking I do use a Canon EOS 70D that is the camera I'm using so um if anyone wants to know but uh yeah guys peace